Get everyone, B Asian Dad here. We're going to do the unboxing and first impression of this Lenovo ThinkPad T14. Now the T14 comes in two flavors. There is an Intel version and there's also an AMD version. The one I've got right here is the Intel version. I have the AMD version on order. I'm just waiting for that to arrive. I've actually got a whole bunch of Lenovo products on order. Unfortunately, there's been massive shipping delays to Australia, and this is actually the very first of the Lenovo 2020 models to finally arrive. So I'm kind of excited to finally see one. Uh, if you're joining me for the very first time for my unboxing and first impressions, I don't normally see the product itself before. I haven't seen the photo of it. And all I really do is just go through the quickly through the spec sheets just to see what it can be configured with, and that's about it. So as you see this product for the first time is also the first time I'm seeing this product as well. This T14 is the 2020 refresh of the T series of the ThinkPad and this is a 14 inch of course and the one before this one is the T490 and so this is the, I've just renamed it now to T14 I guess they've just ran out of numbers so they've actually reverted but it actually makes it a lot easier now I've got to say so this is generation number one. Now with further ado Let's get on to um, the unboxing. Now I also will tell you that I will be creating a second video, a follow-up video of the review of this laptop once I had some time with it. So again, without further ado, let's get to unboxing. As you always know, I've also got my good old trusty knife. Well, let's get that going away. And let's bring this across and let's start to slip. Oh, there we go. It's a nice easy one today. It's just one little one. All right, let's bring that across. Oh, no, I've got some more stickers I might need to go through. There we go. Or again, away from the body. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, let's bring this across. Right. Now, let's just bring this across to here so you can hopefully be able to see this. Now, as always, let's go to the power section to see what we get. All right, so let's show it out. So oh, we've got a nice little box for that. It's all cardboard, which is great to see. And let's have a look inside here. Now, I'm just going to pull this thing out. So, and that's that's pretty much empty. Let's throw that the door. Okay, so here we go. Now we've got is a 65 watt power adapter there, which is good. And this is running, let's have a look. I'm sorry, wrong side. That's just the power that connects to this. And we're running a USB-C. So that's what charges through a USB-C. That's nice to see. So I'll just put it on the side there. And I think that's pretty much all there is on this side. Yep, that's all there is on that side. And let's get onto the computer itself. So let's bring this computer on. Hopefully I don't drop this thing again. So let's bring this. There we go. I've got it there. And there's nothing else besides that. So let's just bring that across here. I'll just chuck that back in. And documentation, so we don't need that, do we? All right, I'll just drop this in the box. Okay, here we go. Now, we've got this one here. Let's do this quick. Oh, geez. This one's really security tight, isn't it? All right, there we go. Okay. All right. Nice little flip. Nice, feels really nice. Yeah, it's got a nice sort of feel to it. I think it's got a bit of improvement from the previous one. Uh, the actual plastic is not as got more of a hard feel to it, uh, which is kind of nice. I think it's going to be more durable than the previous ones, the T490. I've played a few T490 a fair bit as well, so that's definitely nice. And I can see the hinge is, um, that's is that's still plastic as well, so that's plastic and same with the top and bottom of it. But I think it's it's got a little, maybe a little bit light. No, I don't know. I know it hasn't actually changed in weight, but dimension-wise, I think it may be a little bit more thinner, but not by much. If it is, very small, but if not, same as well. All right, before we get on, for, let's have a look at the ports anyway. So we've got the USB-C charging port, which is great. So, and then you've got the C18 here, which is for the docking system. So you have an Ethernet dongle, which is a special Ethernet dongle you can actually get from Lenovo. And then you've also got a USB type A port here, which is probably USB 3.1 Gen 1. And then you've got HDMI port. Now this is version 1.4B. And then we've got headphone jack, and then we've got a micro SD card reader, which is great. Now nothing on the front here, and then nothing around. Oh no, there is something at the back. This is a tray for the USIM. And then on the right side of the computer, we've got a security lock slot here. 
And then we've got the RJ45. I like seeing the RJ45 in there because a lot of businesses still use Ethernet. And then we've also got the exhaust event and then another USB type A port. There's probably USB 3.1 Gen 1. I'm taking a guess. And then we've also got a smart card reader as well, which is fantastic. So that's kind of nice to see. And yeah, I really do like the feel of this one there. Yeah. I was just bringing my little, nice little special tool here to help you see this a little bit better. So the computer can be rested there. So let's have a look what's in here. All right, all right, open it up. Oh, wow. Look at that. The keyboard, okay. Keyboard is still the nice sort of, yep, it's got a bit of, tactile feel to it for sure i think they may have lost a little bit of key travel i feel i just feel that if maybe no no it's maybe the same i just feel they may be a little bit less but that's just me uh, and also feel that the actual keys are a little bit more harder in texture size for it so definitely much more durable it's not as soft as before but definitely nice to see and there's also got as I always call this, the keyboard nipple or the G spot, but I know it's called a track point here, which is great to see they've still continually had that. And of course you've got the left and right mouse click in the middle class pick as well too. So I'll support those there. And as for the trackpad, nice, love it. It's good, still very nice for the trackpad and it's still mechanical as well. So the nice sort of texture feel to that. More of a, between a glass and plastic, it's not fully glass feel to it, but that's definitely durable there for sure. And I'll test that and see how that goes. But definitely keyboard wise, I definitely always love the ThinkPad range of the keyboard. They're well known to be very durable and just have a good feel to it. The function key is still on the very left hand side. And of course there's gonna be a hacks on software wise. You can actually flip these two around. But if you're a previous ThinkPad owner, you probably have got used to that or you've already flipped that around in your one and this is a refresh in a way. So, and I can see at the top there, there's a speaker bar on top as well and the power button is located on the top there. That's nice to see. And let's have a look at this. Yeah, it's got a 720p camera here and of course it's got the privacy shutter there and the, the privacy shutter is a nice little flick of the switch and you'll see it go red on top, which means that there's a physical shutter that goes over it so you don't have prying eyes or if, if the webcam accidentally turns on, you can, they can't really see anything there, which is great. So you don't need electrical tape or blue tack, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna flip that back around here. Now let's boot this computer up. Now let's have a look. Now the bezel wise, I think it's gone a little bit thinner. So the bezel is a little bit more narrow, which is a good sign because because I find the T-Series a little bit wider than I would like it, but it's nice to see with the T14, they've actually made it more narrow, which that's why I find. So let's turn it on and I'm hoping the best because I don't have very good luck, as you've seen my previous videos, uh, on turning a laptop on, and I think this is gonna do the same thing. Is it going to do what I need to do? If not, then I'm gonna have to plug this into power. Let's have a look. I will try and get this thing on. Nope, it looks like we're gonna have to bring up the power. So after plugging the power and turn the computer on, I actually went through the Windows setup just to get through to this stage, just to speed things up. Now, I actually do wanted to see the display here. Now, this one I've got is the full HD non-touch version of the display. There is a touch version as well, and there's also a HD version, and there is also a 4K version and a privacy screen version as well. Now, if you don't know what the privacy screen version is, basically that, limits the viewing angle of the display to about 70 to 90 degrees. Now I have to check on the spec sheet, but it's around about there. And so if you've got prying eyes on the uh, more than that, from the other sides, like if you're in a tight area, for example, maybe in a plane or uh, on the train, and you don't really want other people to look at your sensitive data, then that's what really is good for. So that's really straight, straight to the user there. So that's the privacy screen version. Anyway, just to have a look at the display, at the moment, I've got the maximum brightness here, and I will be testing the display a little bit more in my in-depth review videos for the color and also the luminosity as well. And also, we'll also check in if it's got PW WM as well. But at the quick look of this, I think it might have actually improved since the T14 
490. I do find it a little bit more bright now. I find also the color looks to be a little bit more vibrant than before. I've only just got the default horse paper there and I've just played a few movies and it does look a little bit nicer there. And I definitely think that the bezel has gone a little bit more time. I don't have a T490 with me currently at the moment, so I can't do a side by side, but I'm um, hopefully I might be able to get one in uh, just so I can do a side by side view when I do the T14 in depth review video. So overall, generally, I think this is going to be quite nice. Now in an in depth review, I also look into the speakers as well. And of the temperatures and fan noise of this computer and I'll just generally have a look at it. So be sure to check that one out when I make that available. I'll put a link in the description when that is available as well too. So generally, I also before I get on with it, I actually see the one finger test to see how that runs, hey? So let's just do the one finger test to see how far and how well this runs. So that's one finger there. That's not bad, it, it can do pretty good. One finger all the way up to here. Now I just need two fingers to get all the way there. And pretty much this is the clamshell version, so it does 180 and that's pretty much it, which is quite nice. So, and I have to say, that is a very nice sort of bezel there, I've got to say, for this display. And as always, think pads are very known for that. And if you want to do the wobble tests, I know some people do the wobble tests just to see if, uh, the lid comes across. Nope, that does pretty well there. So it's not really opening there. It has a little open, but not much at all. So that's brewing pretty good there. And I've got to say, I do feel it's quite nice. And yeah, generally, I like this T14 to refresh. Now it is using, for processor wise, it is using the 10th generation Intel Core. So that's what the major difference. And as for RAM wise, it can still do a maximum capacity of 48 gigs and as for storage wise it can still do the m.2 format ssd hard drives and as for the graphics wise it's using intel integrated graphics but you can opt in for a geforce mx 330 so that's one of the upgrades that's for the t14 the t490 was a mx 250. i hope you find this unboxing enjoyable or you find it informative if you did give it a like or if just to support my channel give it a like as well and if you haven't done already subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button bottom right the screen i do try to upload a new video every week and just remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting i'll see you next video